Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is uh, Paul, Transfer Ramblings, and uh, today I'm going to be doing some rehousing of my Nandu Trapepi. Okay, so this is the setup we've got so far. It's got, it's got this horrible red lid. It's, it's sort of a, what do you call it, like a critter keeper? Or I don't know what you call it. All the rest I've got are breeding boxes. I got this because it was second hand and three pounds. I could nick because it's got a horrible top. But it's the medium size if it was a breeding box same size as a medium medium breeding box yeah and i put quite a lot of substrate in because i want this one to dig i want to see what it's going to do it's, it's not it's not totally bone dry this stuff but it's not that moist either and really it wants to be down the bottom isn't it i, I meant to put water in before didn't i let's try and get over to the bottom there it's that's one thing about this it's got it so vented on the top it will dry out really fast I, I might have to come up with a way of uh, closing off some of the holes I know um, I think Tom Moran uses black tape on the breeding boxes because you can't really see it this is red so I'm going to get a result, good result with anything like let's get some of those in there all right okay so I want to try and give it some verticality you know, some, something like that so it can do lots of digging underneath, and that can be such a good find, would be the ideal. Um, I can't do this. I don't know if that's just going to sort of collapse and look silly, but I'd like that to stay on the top if it's possible. That piece is falling apart, that's not good. A little stick there, I mean, prop it on the stick. That'll work. Yeah, okay, so put that like that. So I've got like a nice big bit of art there. Is this going to work or is going to... What's problems? Nice, lucky. see what I'm trying to get at really. I'm creating a bit of a hide, there's also a moss area, which will probably end up being the dry side really. I don't know, depends. I think this one likes it moist, but there's loads of moisture down there. So it really wants something over this side, doesn't it? And then I could perhaps put a water bowl in this corner. I've got a nice water bowl. Give it a serious upgrade. <laughs> That's too big, I think, that one. Right. Um, the water bowl it's got, it can have at the moment in here, I think I'll put it here for now anyway, see if it wants to dig in this moist area and give it some more shelter or something. You can go over the top of these things, can't you? I know, I'm guilty of that before. It's got to be able to get to the soil to do this. Let's try breaking this off a bit more. It wants to break that way, but I want it to break this way. should give it a dry option and a moist option and as I say I've been keeping it quite moist anyway I think it's um, subtropical and then it's peppy from that moist forest areas so that's it, it's, it's, it's sort of showing me that it likes emptying its water bowl it's, it's not done for a little while now but it used to empty the water bowl religiously and I kept I've always kept it quite moist and it's been molting really fast and growing fast so I don't think I'm doing the wrong thing People may have different ideas on this, so anyway, that's that. I'm not an expert. I'm not pretending I'm an expert. I'm just doing what I'm telling you what I do. Okay, so we're in the uh, rehousing tub. Just to show you the rehousing tub. I've seen a few people recently not using them, and it just doesn't make any sense to me not to use them. If there's room, you want some bits knocking about for the spiders to sort of run and hide into, um, which that does work. I've had that happen. Work. Anyway, let's go back. Okay, so I recognise this. It's the closest I can get to a Simply Limeade. <laughs> um, 
you know Tom Moran, you'll know, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, so there we are. It's not simply lime, eh? it's innocent, innocent smoothie, I think it was, something like that. The lid's quite big, but not, I don't think it's quite as big as simple, simply lime, eh? Lime, eh? So I think this spider knows some things up. It's not been anywhere near as twitchy as it used to be when I first got it. Should go for a run now. Acting a bit twitchy, isn't it? Um, yeah, I don't mess them out here. You do get that water bowl out of the way, but it's just catch cups all the way. Not, not. Okay. So, okay, Mr. I don't know yet is whether he's a touch my bum and I'll spin round type spider or a yes I'll go that way spider. So he's a I'll go that way spider. And go through the hole. That's it, perfect. I thought I saw a little bit of hair kicking then. Never seen that before. Oh, there he is. He's gone in, he's gone straight into a hide, but that's fine. Yeah, that's what they're for, really, isn't it? Water the moss. Not to frighten him too much, but he needs to be. All this moss needs to be brought back to life. There could be an ant colony in here, because I give some of this stuff to um, somebody, a friend of mine, with a setup with a tranchler. And they found a colony of uh, acorn ants. <laughs> Well, we don't know if it's a full colony, we don't know if it's a queen or anything. But yeah, it's quite fun to have. Tiny, tiny little ants, that are really small. They're native to British Isles, but very, very small. You know, I only ever see them when if I get them in, like, things I've collected from the woods, really. So, I just thought I'd come in nice and close. Have a bit of a closer look at it. I think she'll be happy in there for a bit. Great spider. She might have just kicked hair. That's for the first time ever in her uh, in that rehousing tube. Let's see some exploration now. Maybe. Brush ready. Just in case the exploration from there. Out is not the plan. Are you finding a new home then? Yeah, that's your water bowl. Why is that, don't you? I don't know how many how many how many pheromones and things spiders lay down, and how much they pay attention to it. You know, some insects really do. Like obviously ants, that's how they move around. So pheromone trails. But with a tarantula, I don't know. Obviously males pick up females, don't they? But. Probably do this for hours, couldn't she? Just watching around. Where am I? What's going on? On your tank. I think, I think you'll like it in there, mate. Just look. I think that's, this is like a disturbed spider, isn't it? Really, it's, it's not. Yeah, that's not where we're going. This is one of the good things about the old worlds. You don't feel too scared about doing this. Some of the new worlds might. <laughs> my heart would be in my mouth if it got to the edge there and it was a fast one. Because they, they're so fast on them. Not that these are slow, but predictable-ish. So I'm hoping that there's either going to be a dry burrow there or a moist one over here. And, or the other way around. I don't know how it's going to work yet. I, th I think she'll be happy in there. I've kind of decided since she's been such a good girl. Let's see. Oh, 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 hang on. That's not been a good girl. Back in, please. I was going to say, being a good girl, would she like a roach in a new house? Oh, that roach is just mental. Um, yeah, sometimes I'm just not prepared for these red runners, just how. 
fast they can be. She's got an absolutely bonkers red runner in there. Let's try and move this around a bit. Again. Nearly caught her on her way out there, but, that, but she wouldn't have. She'd have gone, stayed inside this tub, I think. Hope. But really, it, it it shows me that the problem is that at the earliest opportunity, I should have done this. Because the whole point of these tubs is to have a space, like a moat, you could say, around the tub. So, although it, oh, there's it's that roach. So that's gone quite well but as you can see I should have moved it round so that's a lesson learned well, I've done it oh yes <laughs> well that's nice she's not even fully explored a new home yet but she's definitely hungry good well done I haven't actually given this one a name or anything it's just Entrepeppy anyway thank you very much Entrepeppy for entertaining us There we are, thanks for watching my video and I'll see you again in the next one, as Scott would say. <laughs> no, I, can't, I can't say that. Okay, anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching my video. I'll try and make another video soon. Ideally, I like to do twice a week, but yeah, I can't always. At least once a week anyway. I'll do one video a week, promise that. Okay. So thanks for watching my video today and I'll see you again when I make my next one, which should be about once a week, I suppose, really, in these videos. Anyway, hope that hope you like that. Thank you. Bye. Take three. <laughs> um, yeah. So anyway, I hope, I hope that was uh, okay for this week, and I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you.